Welcome back to another Animation Buffet Rig Review. And today I'm gonna to take a look at Douglas the Corgi Rig. And as always, link in the description with all the information. This one can be found on gumroad.com. You got all the information here and you got the details about the rig. It's very cute. You got the picker, you got Adam School picker and lots of options for the face. But that is it in terms of where you can get it. And it's also posted on my Animation Buffet site as I do when I post all those rigs. It's up there now ready to go and as always as you download a new rig the path to all the textures might be off so if you're new to this i'm going to bring this down here you have window rendering editors hyper shades or this icon here and in here you have all the shaders you can see they're all black so i'm going to check out for instance the body mat whatever i'm going to open this here and you can see that in that selection here where it's supposed to be and it's the douglas body color png I'm going to go in here, Douglas the Corgi, source images, Douglas, and I'm looking for Douglas body color PNG, Douglas body color PNG. I'm going to say open and it did it for that. And you can see now the changes in the rig. And here we are, super cute and a ton of options. It's a really, really cool rig. Also, it has an Adam School picker, so you can open that up here and you got the body and you can open this up here and you even have a face. Namespace, for some reason, I was not douglas version 1.0 it had to be the bottom selection here so now that i select the head it works so that was a bit of an interesting confusion there in terms of namespace but other than that it all works so if i go back just to demonstrate it quickly this would be a bit of a hassle to select all the controllers on the tail now you can select it through this and of course everything works every now and then you'll see some enveloping issues potentially interesting it snaps at one point there all of that is there and since we have it here might as well start with the tail i don't know why you have a stretch option you also you have a twist which you can barely see here but i'm going there you got a twist option you have a curl option again watch out for that pop there and you have a wag option as well overall it's really super cute with a ton of options so in here you have your master anim that moves everything around and then you have your master one item as well. And for me, this is always the thing of, I can choose this, bring it down. And then if you need a master item that's potentially here, um, you can also take this and move that over there so that your pivot is here. So for whatever reason, if your dog is flying around and you want the center of gravity over there, I use these controllers for that. You will also see those uh, settings, wheels or option wheels, what do you call them? You have subdivision. So if you see this here, and I'm gonna change that, you can see how it gets a lot more dense. And you can see this here, if you do shading, wireframe on shaded, and I go back onto this, you can see what happens. Of course, everything gets a lot slower. So I would wait until the very end if you actually need this. Uh, you have all the controllers on or off, and you have the shaper transparency. Now, what is the shaper transparency? If I turn this off, you have these guys, which I will now leave on, so I can show you where you can really shape things around. If you don't have a tool that you want to use, you have options to change this. And if you don't want to get this selected here, the geo can get referenced here. So there you go, nothing except the controllers. Where should I start? I don't know why I started at the feet, so let's go with the feet. You have a front body selection for both, which is interesting. Go up here, you can see it selects the whole front part. Then down here, you have the legs. So you have the classic IK with all your options here, and it changes the orientation of that, which you can change through here as well. And then you have a lot of options through here where you can see that for translates, for readjustments, it also for rotations and kind of entanglement in your pose, or you want to kind of change just the outline. Oh, this one is not a rotation, but this one is just to change that type of thing here. And you got a ton of them. You got one here, you got one here, and you have one over here for that section as well that you can also rotate. You can go all the way up to here for the arm tweak and with an untwist. So just in terms of arms, a ton of options. And if I go back here, you have your ankle option here. That is a rotate only. That's the same one down here. You have your toes for your paws that go all the way down to the front. So you can have both of them selected if you want here. Like that, and of course, Anna Picker is going to help you with this. And in here, you have the front paw selection. You have wiggle, 
and you have spread for quick selection there. And you have squash, which is very cool. You see the influence is down there, which is very, very cool. I like that a lot. And in here, you have the classic roll, toe lift, toe straighten, side, toe spin, toe spin. Ooh, that's your, your cigarette squashing thing. I don't know why I call this, but I guess that. Uh, and again, so, so many other options. You have stretchy options as well and swivel. I mean, I can go through all of these, but that's something you can do as well. So as you can see, a ton, a ton of options, obviously, on both of them. Down here, you have the belly. So you have a belly control for the ball or whatever you want to do again for reshaping. At the same time, at the front here, you have a fluff shaper and you have a breathing control, which you can scale. That type of thing, right? And I showed you all of these on the side. That's the shoulder part that you can rotate and translate. Continuing on, you have the back side here. Of course, as I showed before, you got your elbow controls, but you have your overall chest. So this is a spine with a stretch, which of course also rotates. And as you can see, we have the classic head options here. So if I do this, this is your rotation order like that, but you can change this. So if you look up here, you have your, there are two separate head controllers. It's interesting too. So one here, one here, it's not a squash, but you have one here, one here. You can change pivots and everything. But in here, you got a ton of options where you have the master, the neck, the chest, all those options here. So again, as you change this, this is going to stay put. And here you can see that it doesn't influence it anymore. And as you do this, it stays put there. So lots of options as well in the head. You have your sub controller visibility. One more there where you can do all kinds of stuff. It's really bananas, lots of options here. Controllers on the ears and tweakers and shapers. I'm gonna leave that on. I'm actually gonna turn that sub one off. And then back there, you have your FK, FK controls. This goes all the way back there. Now, if you do happen to do something with a spine that's like this and you wanna reshape it, you have that controller here that does that. You can, of course, move it all around if you want. And back here, you have the back side and here back into the front part to change it into a different attitude. And then we're back onto the main controller, lifting all of this. And of course, you're going to have to have options on the feet to change the influence as well. And then back here, we have volume as well. So if I grab my guy here and go, but I don't want that to happen, all the volume off. So you can change that as well. You have again, multiple hip controllers. It's crazy here. Same thing here. Same as with the front paws, you have all your hips and adjustments here and all this. This goes all the way back here. It's the same setup in the back as in the front. It's very cool. And same thing here on the tail, as I showed before at the beginning, just like just these two, you have FK, but also like this. So whatever tickles your fancy for a horrible pose here. And then back here, you also have, like I showed, the twist, curl, wag, and stretch option a ton of options through here. Then you got the face, you have your eye control, of course like that. And then you have your separate eye controller as well. In here, you have the shapers for your nose, but you have an overall mover here as well. This is a translate and a rotate. This goes all the way down to this one as well. Translate and rotate. Same thing here, you have all the shapers. You have your snarl, you have your quick option here for your shapes. Then you have back here, you can move these around like that for bigger controllers, but then you have smaller controllers. And let's go inside, even smaller, crazy town. This is where your subdivision is gonna come into play to not have those sharper edges on the geometry. In here, looks like you got, ooh, you got separate teeth controls, not just one big block for teeth, but if you need to reshape something like that, that's there as well. Speak of which, I think this one, upper teeth atom. So you have your overall tooth here. I should probably take this, just open this up here. Look at that, lots of options. It's very, very flexible. What is that, the cheek? That is head bottom. Ooh, so you got the bottom part, interesting. But then I would assume that this is the head top, exactly. And then we have head top two. Ah, then we have that. I feel like that you have bigger groups and then divide it into smaller groups. This is again, just the overall selection of the teeth. You got your tongue, of course, as you have here. Ooh, there was another one here. What was that? There you go. Sometimes I don't see it with the color. So that is your tongue tip. There's a tongue length that you can change. There's a tongue in and out. 
and the tongue size just in case again a lot of options then we have what is this here cheek she controls the tooth then you have the shaper now i did see this here when you select this it says manual zipper zipper lips zipper lips interesting so i would assume that the zipper can you translate and close a ah, bit of a closing of the mouth i guess what is this tuck Ooh, in and out pinch of course i destroyed everything in my other pose here but you got this option here that's interesting you also have like i said the jaw animation for this but what you also have here is when you select this one is the reverse jaw you can do this imagine you have your uh, your dog is maybe resting it's uh you know head on the table leg that's my awesome table like a kitchen and there are lots of cookies here and it wants it then you can still take this and then open it like that ah for all of this to come in there without crazy counter animation it's very very cool then what do you have in here that uh, you got more shapes this must be all the different nose options with nose different nose pivots look at that it's a crazy amount of options you got your lids but then you have your lids shaper you have an overall shape for here now let's see this must be the overall eyebrow which it is and then you have your separate eyebrow as well this I anim you have iris size all right oh look at that with height pupil size for more dialects of or not the width and the height and follow anim a ton of stuff now this looks like a ton of options but don't forget you do have the picker so on the picker you have a much easier overview of all those options here socket to move the whole thing around i mean it's really bananas all those options that you have the overall mouth mover then you can select all those things here all the stuff that i showed before is separate here then you can have different mouth options here like i said super super detailed you got your tongue your teeth the visibility select all select just the face look at that very very cool holy moly and let's not forget ears why not so you have your overall ear and then we can go all the way down to the separate ears twisting depending on how you select this and you can go crazy i'm always surprised that there's no squash function i can grab this and just kind of squash that face together well do you have your shapers tongue it's not there and this is just another mover i guess that's the only thing i'm surprised with all those options that there is not like a head squash or something but then again as i do this is a first look on this rig i probably missed something but i'm trying to be as thorough as possible i also want to test the accessibility and just like how intuitive the whole thing is if you don't know anything about the rig oh man this just you just want to go in there and animate something with that face super super cute and it sounds like my dog agrees as well so there you have it an overview of douglas de corgi as always all the information is in the description below go check it out it is free it's free and it's awesome but you can also add how many dollars you want to donate so let's support the developer of this let's support the person who created and rigged and made this happen it's very very cool i'm gonna leave it at that thank you for watching